Virgos. How are you doing? Welcome to Silo V Tarot. Let's take a look and see what's going on with you in love. All right. Before we start, if you're interested in the extended, um, the link will be at the bottom of the video. Okay. So we could take a deeper look at what's going on with you in the future here. Like, share, and subscribe if you have not. What is going on with my beautiful Virgos in love? Virgos, where are you going? Some of you could be, it's like I'm constantly daydreaming. I'm daydreaming. I'm daydreaming here. I'm thinking about how happy I used to be. I'm thinking about how happy I used to be. I feel like for some of you, there could have been some sort of phone conversation that really, that really put you in a very positive place. It was just really good hearing from someone. Let's get a little bit more about love, Virgos. This person, the moon here. What are you thinking about? I remember when I used to be so happy. Are you single, Virgo? Some of you could be very single at this time or just single. Um... And it's like I, I'm thinking about love. I'm thinking about how much I would love to be in a relationship, how much I would love to trust someone at this time here. Um, I feel like for some of you, okay, you may be in a relationship and I feel like I feel like at times someone could act like a child at times, okay? And you're at a place where it's like I really want to make a decision about this, but I'm holding back. All right. So someone here could be holding back emotionally and not really telling this person that um, this is not working out anymore. I feel like this is someone here that's very comfortable understanding or, or feeling that you want them or you're interested or you will do anything. You'll even, you know, put yourself to the side. So Virgo, it looks like at some point you started to ask yourself, can I really go through with this? Can I really wait for this person? Can I really actually see myself being happy in this situation? So I'm seeing a lot of curiosity. All right. For some of you, it's like there is complete silence and we're not really talking. All right. Someone here is holding on to the fact that maybe things are not over. Maybe things are not over. Maybe things um, will work out at some point. We talked about having a family. I visualized having a family with you. You could be connecting with someone that also has kids with someone else or is connecting with someone else here, okay? I keep getting an energy of someone not happy in a relationship. I'm not happy in this relationship. I'm not happy in this situationship. I'm not happy with the way that I'm getting treated. I'm just not. Virgo, again, this could be someone around you. All right, this is just Virgo's energy at this time. Sun, moon, Venus signs rising as well. Now I do see you, you know, it's like you're very optimistic. You are, there's a lot of strength in your energy. You could be connecting with the Sagittarius as well. Okay, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus. But either way here, someone here is really trying to hold back the essence of how they're feeling. I don't feel like you are participating. I don't feel like you love me. I don't feel like you really care. I don't. It's like you're here, but you're not all here. So this person may not even understand that you're unhappy. Or this person may not understand how disappointed you are in them, Virgo. They may not even notice that. So even with holidays coming up, it's like you're putting on a smile, but you're really still disappointed in someone big time. But it's like when I get on the phone, I'm happy. I come off as if I'm happy. When people see me, they think I'm happy, but I'm not. I'm really disappointed in someone's behavior here. Hermit energy, your own energy popping out, which means I'm reflecting. I'm reflecting. I'm learning. I'm curious. Someone's very curious here. I feel like this is you, Virgo. I'm curious, but I'm also in a place where I'm also protecting my dignity as well. Okay? I know you're the sign of, you know, being very loving and wanting to be there for everyone and wanting to be just a good helper, right? But I feel like it's time for you to just focus on you at this time. Okay, some of you are also in a place where it's like, I really want to release this job. This job is draining me. This is not really good for my mental state. There's something here that's going on. 
And if, for some of you Virgos that may be in a relationship, you feel like this person's holding you back. You feel like this person's not putting much in, this person's playing catch. It's like one minute the ball is in their court, then in your court, but they're never really trying. This fire sign, this Capricorn here. It's like they're not trying. And sooner or later, Virgo's going to turn their back here. If you're a cross watcher, Virgo's ready to turn their back and go into isolation mode and really reevaluate this whole idea. Future energy. Okay? The one thing I love about you, Virgo, is that you are doing the work. You are. All right? I do see you trying to do the work. You could be connecting with an Aquarius I'm getting. Yeah, you still have faith. You still have faith. I feel like you're not giving up on love. You're not giving up on yourself. I feel like there has been a lot of, you know, some sort of, how can I say it, epiphany that happened here for you that really brought things to fruition. But I feel like you keep asking about this Leo. Like, is this person my person? Is this person actually going to want to make things work? And we'll look at that in the extended here. But with the moon energy, Virgo, I feel like you hold back a lot. I feel like, yes, you've told this person how you feel, but I feel like you're at a point where you feel like there's nothing else I could do. I've told this person I don't like certain things. I told this person I'm not okay with the way that they're treating me, the people around me. I'm just not okay with it. Clarify this moon vibe, please. I need to see this. What is this moon energy about? What's going on in my Virgo's energy? Yeah, someone here is in and out. Ooh, some of you could be dating somebody at a distance here. Yeah, in and out doesn't know what they want. And I feel like that frustrates you. Virgo, do you feel like you're stuck in a situation? It's like I can't stop thinking about this person because I'm not getting a clear answer or I'm not getting a understanding of what it is that they're seeking. Someone that you're connecting with, Virgo, could be very stuck in a situation and they don't know how to deal with it, okay? Also, I'm getting someone here that possibly ended things with you or stopped really moving towards your energy romantically. I feel like they're still in a place of thinking about the good times that you two had. Okay, I feel like this person goes back and forth wondering if they made the right decision. But I feel like they feel like it's out of their hands or they're stuck in a situation. Someone here could have been like someone that wasn't doing well in their career or their career had some sort of change or shift in it here. And I feel like this is something that could be stressing this person out to the point of them no longer acknowledging or focusing on the relationship, Virgo. Okay. So I feel like at this time, could be dealing with a Taurus as well. Could be dealing with a Taurus. One of the things I do see, Virgo, you have such a beautiful heart. And I do see you willing to hear this person out. You know, as much as you have an open and loving and kind heart, I feel like you're going to hear this person out. But if you're no longer happy... I don't feel like you're going to be able to give this person a chance because spirit is pushing you towards a new beginning here. All right. I do feel like with this energy, there was this heavy vibration of I can't really focus on myself because I'm constantly thinking about this person or I'm constantly thinking about this situation. Okay. So I feel like moving in this forward energy, if you do not feel like you are getting the love that you desire, all right, Spirit is definitely going to push you into this reflective energy, okay? This balance energy, this energy of I have to understand what it is I want to do for self is what I'm getting here, okay? In the extended, we are going to look at your person's intentions, how they're truly feeling, um, why they're, you know, expressing this in and out energy. And if you're not communicating with this person, we'll see how they feel about it because I'm seeing someone here stuck in their head. All right, so it could be a number of things going on. Did you tell this person um, something, Virgo, and you really made them, you know, go sit back and think about their behavior? <laughs> Someone did. Someone said something here. Wow. Clarify this page of swords. What is that about? Like, it's like I'm, I'm genuinely trying to figure out what's going on. I'm genuinely trying to figure. Oh, yeah, again. Is this over? Someone is dying to know, is this over? Are we over? Okay, someone here wants answers. 
They want answers and they want it now. Okay, Virgo, why am I feeling like if this is over, someone's going to feel very good about it? Is there someone else in the background here or other people possibly not wanting this relationship to work, Virgo? Because I'm getting this like feel good energy. I'm definitely going to clarify this. Okay, let's get a little bit more. What's going on with Virgos in career? Career. What do we have for career for Virgos? Sudden wealth, of course. Virgos is like ah, the love department, right? The love department. Unex unexpected income. Sudden wealth. What is this change? It's a huge transformation that's happening for you, Virgo. Amazing, especially if you're a September Virgo. Privileged. I feel like you're moving into a place where you're going to get you're going to get, you know, the time that you've invested in working on yourself, putting into work, because I feel like you've definitely worked a lot. I'm getting this energy of recognition, okay? Balancing out your finances. It's like Virgo has that under control completely, completely. Someone here could be giving you money back or someone here, um, or unexpected, you know, I'm, there's so many different ways for money to come in. Just take this message and run with it. Okay. I'll talk to you in the extended. I love you, Virgo. Have a beautiful one.